React team has announced next major version of React. This is really an exciting news. In the React Labs blog post on February 2024, React team shared some lights on what they are working on. So first thing they discussed is React Compiler. They wrote, React Compiler is no longer a research project. The compiler now powers Instagram.com in production and we are working to ship the compiler across additional surfaces at Meta and to prepare the first open source release. React can sometimes render too much when state changes. Since the early days of React, solution for such cases has been manual memoization. This means applying use memo, use callback and memo APIs to manually tune how much React re-renders on the state changes. But manual memoization is a compromise. It clutters up code, is easy to get wrong and requires extra work to keep up to date. Manual memoization is a reasonable compromise but we were not satisfied. Our vision is for React to automatically re-render just the right parts of the UI when the state changes without compromising on React's code mental model. UI as a simple function of state with standard JavaScript values and idioms is a key part of why React has been approachable for so many developers. That's why we have invested in building and optimizing compiler for React. JavaScript is a notoriously challenging language to optimize thanks to its loose rules and dynamic nature. React compiler is able to compile code safely by modeling both the rules of JavaScript and the rules of React. For example, React components must be added important, returning the same value given the same input and can't mutate props or state values. These rules limit what developers can do and help to carve out a safe space for the compiler to optimize. The compiler attempts to detect when code doesn't strictly follow React's rules and will either compile the code where safe or skip compilation if it is not safe. We are testing against Meta's large and varied code base in order to help validate this approach. For developers who are curious about making sure their code follows React's rules, we recommend enabling strict mode and configuring React's Slint plugin. These tools can help to catch subtle bugs in your React code, improving the quality of your applications today and future proofs your application for upcoming features such as React Compiler. At the time of talk, we had early experimental data from trying React Compiler on one page of Instagram.com. Since then, we shipped the compiler to production across Instagram.com. We have also expanded our team to accelerate the rollout to additional surfaces at Meta and to open source. After that, they wrote about the next major version of React. After a couple of years, of iteration, React Canary is now ready to ship to React Latest. The new features mentioned above are compatible with any environment your apps run in, providing everything needed for production use. Since asset loading and document metadata may be breaking change for some apps, the next version of React will be major version, React 19. There is still more to be done to prepare for release. In React 19, we are also adding long requested improvements which require breaking changes like support for web components. Our focus now is to land these changes, prepare for for release, finalize talks for new features and publish announcements for what's included. We will share more information about everything React 19 includes, how to adopt the new client features and how to build support for React server components in the coming months.